Hello friends, once again welcome you to my channel. So in the last video we have seen that safe push operation, how we can perform. So safe here meaning is we should not insert one element in a full stack, right? So as the stack grows downward in the memory, so successive elements will be at lower addresses. So if our stack starts at 2000, goes up to 1500, then we should not insert one element beyond 1500 that is at memory location whose value is less than 1500 at those locations we should avoid for performing a push operation right so that we have seen we have compared sp with 1500 and if the value was less than zero we are going to level of some instruction that is giving us some message for user to understand what is happening and and if it is not so then we are performing the operation and we are behaving normal Next one is safe pop operation. So see, in case of safe pop operation, from where we should not pop? We should not pop from the stack if the stack is empty. So when the stack will be empty, if the stack pointer is somewhere below 2000, somewhere below 2000 if the stack pointer is there, that means some address more than 2000 is already there in the stack pointer, that means we should not perform a pop operation because our start uh, st stack is starting from 2000. So if at all it is not at 2000 or less than 2000, then we should not perform that operation, right? So safe pop, when we should not, that part we are checking here, else we will be doing it. Means if this condition is true, we should not do, otherwise yes, go on doing it, right? So safe pop, what it will do, this is a level of the instruction where what I am doing, compare has 2000 comma SP. That means I am subtracting 2000 from the content of SP, right? And when it will be one erroneous situation like uh, um, your that uh, stack is already empty, that empty error will come when the value of your result is greater than zero. And when the result will become greater than zero, SP minus 2000 is greater than zero. This means SP value is more than 2000. That means our stack has not started. So we should not perform a pop operation. So that only I have said here, from an empty stack, no element should be popped out. So if the value of SP is greater than 2000, that means what? Already the stack is empty. Hence, compare operation gives a positive value after the operation. And if it is so, then given proper message to the user by jumping to the level of this, by jumping to some instruction whose level is empty error. Means it is just level of some instruction and that instruction is telling you that you are trying to perform a pop operation from an empty stack. That's all. And if the condition is not true, means if branch greater than zero, condition is not true, that means what? We are at correct position so we can perform the pop operation. So how to do it? Last uh, video only we have seen. Move SP plus comma item. Because first from SP, the element will be taken into the uh, memory location item and then only SP will be incremented. Because SP is always pointing to the top element. So the top element is first taken into item and then only SP is incremented to the next location, right? This is all about your safe push and safe pop operation. What we are doing here, nothing big. What only we are trying to see here that in a full stack, we should not insert and in an empty stack, we, from an empty stack, we should not perform a pop operation. And how to do push and pop, that is already clear to us, right? So this is all about stacks, push and pop operation. Now the next bigger point is coming to us that why I am discussing this stack here? Because already you have seen it in data structure. There are a lot of uses of stack. So next topic will be starting with subroutines. Uh, that subroutines means what actually? The way you, as, uh, your high level language you are talking about function. In earlier days uh, that in a uh, low level that function concept is termed as your subroutine. So when we call a subroutine that time we in that connection we are going to come across stack. Why to use stack? How to use stack? That part I will do very shortly. But before that, I am starting with one uh, new thing. So what is subroutine? It is similar to my concept of functions, right? So the way in which a computer makes it possible to call 
and return from subroutines is referred to as subroutine linkage method linkage means what suppose in your main suppose you are writing a c program or c++ program you have main and you are calling a function p right when you call this p and after that suppose it is written c equal to j into k something is written right so whenever you are calling this function then what will happen after this function uh, this statement is executed you are not going to perform this statement next you will be going to the function body and here whatever are written that part you will execute once you return where you will return back to this particular statement so see what i am trying to uh, tell you here is whenever we call a function whenever we call a function we go somewhere else not in my sequential execution right we'll go to the function right and once we return from function where should we return back from where we have gone to the function so we should come back here again you should not come back here why because that will again make you go to the function so already that part is executed as part of impact of that execution you are inside that function body so you have executed once the execution is over you should go to the next statement the next statement following uh, calling the uh, doing the function call statement right so for uh, this part that uh, calling function and returning from the function where to return back those all these mechanisms are performed through our subroutine linkage method so how to do it what is the hardware required to do this linkage that we will see next so see the uh, very basic uh, solution to this linkage method first i am going to discuss that we are going to use one dedicated register to incorporate this subroutine linkage mechanism right what it will do i am telling you linkage using link register so what it will do see whenever we will call a function right whenever we will call a function what we will do store the contents of pc in the link register right that we will do suppose in your high level language at address 2000 your call function is there call p1 right p1 is representing some address and next instruction is at say 2004 then once this uh, when you execute this instruction that time only you will get to know that you need to go to p1 so before your execution starts p uh, pc will be already pointing to what 2004 because already we know whenever we are fetching one instruction that time only pc is incremented to point to the next instruction in sequence so pc value is already 2004 and after um, means it will be 2004 and in the meantime this instruction will be fetched decoded and will be executed so when we will do the execution what we will do we will go to this function p1 wherever this p1 function is there those statements we are going to execute so how we can go we are not going to find uh, perform a physical jump what we are going to do we are going to change the value of pc to point to this instruction that belongs to p1 so if i just simply do the changes then once the function is over i will not be able to come back to this instruction so because of that before going somewhere where you need to come back once that work is over that we are storing somewhere and that somewhere here we are using as link register one dedicated register will be using so that on call means whenever you are executing a call instruction that time the content of pc that will be nothing but address of the next instruction that will be stored in the link register this is first step and then what we will do the target address means that p1's address will be loaded into pc so this is written here branch to the target address specified by the instruction because in this instruction only p is there so looking at this instruction only this p address will be obtained so that will be given to pc that is branch to the target address understand the next one is on return whenever you are coming back from a function you have executed this return then where you need to come back to the next statement following your call one right so here we have called the function once the function is over we need to come back to this position in our example i was telling it 2004 so where is my 2004 once i return i need to come back here so where is my 2004 is stored it was in the link register so link register content will be given to pc so that we are going to do branch to the address specified in the 
contained in the link register right so see one example i'm trying to show you suppose at address 1000 one call call instruction is there that is calling a function sum 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 so, and next instruction is added at address uh, to uh, sorry 1004 now see when you execute this instruction what will happen last slide only we have seen the updated value of pc will be loaded into the link register so see pc is now holding what 1004 that already you know because when but this instruction is executed pc is pointing to the next instruction that is 1004 that value we will give to the link register when when the call instruction is executed first part we will do this first part we will do this after that one more thing we need to do this address of this sum this uh, some uh, subroutine that need to be loaded into pc so first value of pc will be given to the link register then pc will be loaded with what the address of the subroutine so here i have taken that sum is representing address 2000 so 2000 is loaded into pc 2000 is loaded into pc please understand the sequence first pc value will go to link register then only the address of the subroutine will be loaded into pc then only it will be a correct sequence right and on return what we will do so see once pc is holding this pc will come here now so pc will be this will be going to the function will be executing the function at the end we will be executing return on return what we need to do where is the value of our return address in the link register so link register was holding value 1004 on return what we will do this value we will give to the pc so see uh, this value will be given to your pc so 1004 will be loaded to pc and then we can come back here and then we will be executing our normal flow right so this is how we can make linkage between the subroutine uh, means the function and the caller this is my caller here and this is my function that i am trying to execute next one more thing we need to see see what will be the limitation of this here there is no support for nesting of functions hope you may understand the meaning of nesting of function see here i am calling sum sum is starting at 2000 say here there is also one function call p p is starting at address 3000 right then it will not be supported by this mechanism so in next video we are going to discuss that till then uh, thank you.